What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm out here in the shop today. The weather has finally decided to cooperate for me. Uh, it's about mid 60s. The humidity is good and everything. So we're going to try to get some paint or at least some primer on the frame of this truck here. I've been prepping this uh, frame for, I don't know, a week or two. Uh, along with doing the other work that I've been doing, I've just kind of been working on it a little bit of time. As you can imagine, it's not a, exactly a fun job, so you just come over here and, and work on it a little bit, and then you do something else. And uh, so the first thing I did was I steam cleaned it with the uh, old steam cleaner over here and uh, got it the best I could get it. And then I sprayed it down with Osfo. And you can do this in a number of steps, however you want to, but I sprayed it down with Osfo and I let it set. Usually let this stuff set 24 hours or whatever. And what it does, it turns the rust uh, into like a black oxide and then the residue is the white stuff that you see kind of. So anyway, that's supposed to kill the rust. If it's bad rust, you're supposed to put two coats on it. And I did that and then I steam cleaned it again and then I came back and I did that because I washed the whole truck. I was trying to get some of the grease off because that stuff won't cut through grease. And so that's the reason I steam cleaned it to start with. If you have a clean truck, uh, you know, no grease on it, you could probably skip that. This right here works really well. Uh, this will flake off in like big sheets. You can get in behind it and uh, get this on there. And you can get some a lot of that to come off in big sheets of rust where the, uh, where the rust has got in behind their old paint and it'll peel off. Anyway, it's pretty much uh, a wash and, and repeat kind of deal uh, when you have one that's this rusty. Spray it down, let it set, get off everything you can with a scraper and steam clean it. I think I've washed this two or three times and I've sprayed it with Osfo about three times. I've scraped on it a couple times to get it to this point. Um, now you could carry it somewhere and have it uh, professionally bead blasted. If you try this with a sand blaster, you're going to use tons and tons of sand. It gets everywhere and you're going to spend just tons and tons of time. And I don't know that it's worth it on a work truck. So that's my theory on that. Now if you were doing this, on something you were building a show truck out of, obviously you'd want to strip the frame down, pull the tanks, axles, whole nine yards, strip it all down. You could then uh, fill in these holes with, uh, you know, fiberglass filler, fill in the pits and all that and, and make it real pretty if you're making a show truck. But we're not making a show truck. We're just trying to protect the frame and like, make it look pretty good. So anyway, I'm not stripping anything off the frame other than I pull the catwalk and everything off to get to this point here. And as I say, that's the steps I've used to get to this point. I've removed most of the loose paint that I could get off uh, with either the steam cleaner and the scraper. And I've coated this with the Osfo several times. And I've also sprayed some of this on the bottom of the doors here where I showed in the previous video. Well, it's locked. Go around the other side, it's not locked, I don't think. And I uh, sprayed some on the doors there. Right here, and you can see it's turned this black and I'm trying to kill that rust so that it don't continue to eat right there. Anyway, I may spray a little bit more on that and I'll probably come back and spray this. Here's a look at the other side over here. I went as far as I could up in here. That's the reason I pulled this catwalk off so you could get to all that. But it's looking pretty decent. I got up, up in here the best I could. A lot of it you can't get to in there, but that's about all we can do. So I'm gonna spray this down with uh, this quart of 2K primer I got here. I'm gonna mix this up and spray this and that will try to kind of mix, try to fill in all the, uh, the roughness basically, try to make it look more uniform. It's not gonna be perfect, but it'll help out. 
it helped the paint bond to the frame and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna get this mixed up and then we will uh, get to spraying. guys I got the primer on there let it dry for about I don't know a couple hours uh, you can definitely see all the pitting in the frame now that primer really made it show up it'll uh, it won't be near as noticeable after I get it painted black but uh, it would take a whole lot of time to do that a whole lot of sanding to try to get that to fill that in with fiberglass like fiberglass jelly or something and then you have to sand it and all that not going to all that trouble so um this is the paint that i picked up here i'm just gonna put some spray paint on it this is uh about seven dollars a can for this it's supposed to be the same stuff that you buy in a 
gallon jug. I don't know how much it's going to take. I picked up four cans. That's probably not going to be enough. But uh, we'll see how far that gets us and go from there. All right, guys, well, I got it painted black. I did uh, kind of run out of paint. That's four cans. It did so-so. I missed a spot here, there, and yonder. I'm going to have to pick up a fifth can to um, finish up what I missed. But it is black for sure. You can see some of the light, lighter spots up here. And a couple spots I missed over there, but. Overall, not too bad. It's better than it was, and that'll keep the frame from rusting anymore, at least for a while. I've had uh, pretty good luck out of that particular paint there, that Rust-Oleum, like that in the can. I've had it on stuff four or five years, and, and uh, it fades out. It, it won't be nowhere near this shiny. Of course, this is still wet. It's not dried yet, but uh, it'll fade out, but it'll still, it still uh, protects it from rust, from what... From what I've seen with it, you know, even after four or five years, it starts to fade out. But, you know, that's pretty good for me. And it doesn't look too bad if you back up over here. Back up away from it where you, you know, you can't see all the pitting in the frame and whatnot. It doesn't look too bad. But 
if you get up on it, you know, you can definitely see the, the, the pitting and stuff, but the catwalk is going to go across here anyway, and so it blocks a lot of this here. And then there's really not a whole lot of, a lot of space in between. You got to get some new mud flap brackets here. The ones that were on here, one side was rusted uh, to the point that it would fell down and uh, was just kind of dragging. And uh, so I took it off and they're in the scrap pile out there. And I got some new ones coming, so that'll hide some of this right here. My old truck was the same way when I got it. And I think what I did with it, I think I had one of those pressure washer nozzles uh, that sucked up the sand at the time. And I did it that way and knocked a lot of it off. And then I had a gallon of uh, paint and I just lob black paint on it uh, with a uh, like a sprayer like you paint your house with. You know, it's got the three foot long wand basically, extension, and I just stood back and I just put the paint to it. And uh, you know, that's five years ago. And like I say, it's not really rusted, you know, nowhere near like this. The paint's faded out and whatnot, but it is what it is. So I thought I'd throw this in here. This is the picture of the old truck the frame on it this is after five years as you can see it's not uh terrible it needs to be touched up but you know it ain't it ain't terrible and you can see the pitting in it as well i'm not sure which one is worse the other side of it For five years, I mean, it held up pretty good. It would have to pay real good for me to take a brand new truck up north and run in that salt that y'all got up there. Man, that stuff makes a mess out of everything and, uh, you know, really depreciates the truck more so because uh, you wind up with this here and everything you work on, of course, you can't get loose, uh, seemingly. So it's always worse around the drives because the drives throw all this stuff up here all up against the back of the cab so this is always the worst usually up under the cab and to the front is usually okay i mean it's not great but it's usually okay but all this stuff gets up in here and it don't get washed out and it just corrodes the stuff up and eats it up and uh you know so in my opinion if you buy a brand new truck and you got 150 or 60 70 thousand dollars in it tied up and you run up there that's what you're going to get in about five or six years is a, a truck that's completely eat up and uh, you've lost a whole lot of value. So I don't know that it would have to pay a lot to, to, to cover the depreciation on the truck running up there. But I guess there's a lot of people got it figured out and they're making money or maybe not because there's a lot of trucking companies going out of business right now, going bankrupt. So maybe they're not making money. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.